Hello guys, welcome back. This is uh, Aspirant and this is Fulton Islands News. Sorry, it's been a day old, but I've been uh, working in hospitality and so forth. And um, yeah, no excuses, no muck around. We are going straight in for um, day eight of the Fulton Islands training camp. Um, without being said, let's shut up and I will get into it. So here it is, this is um, si.com Fulton Islands News. Um, this is by Grant Cohen. Grant Cohen is there, um, always at the training camp. If you haven't seen him, look on his YouTube channel. Just type in Grant Cohen. He's always he's always there. Subscribe to this guy because he knows everything and anything about the 49ers. So let's get into it. This is the good and not so good from day eight of the 49ers training camp. Anal uh, analyzing the best and worst performances from day eight of the San Francisco 49ers training camp. So here we go. Here's who stood out on day eight of the 49ers training camp keep in mind the wide receivers cornerbacks tight ends running backs linebackers and safeties did one-on-one -on -one pass drills but the linemen didn't so here we go so the good uh cornerback ambry thomas uh, hasn't given up a cat since early in camp today he won all three of his reps during one-on-ones first he broke up a pass intended for debo samuel running a uh a, a cool oh, a, a curl route next thomas broke up a pass intended for Junior Jennings running on an out route and finally Thomas knocked out a pass intended for Samuel running a slant Thomas is beginning to look like a quality player and the second best corner on the rooster behind Jason Burnt it's time for the 49ers to promote Thomas to the first string uh, defense has he uh, uh, he has earned it and we need to earn him now okay then Aubrey Thomas sounds good. Uh, number two, strong safety, uh, Talonia Hufang Hufanga. T H. That's all I'm saying. I'm I'm not very good with words, so I do apologise. But strong safety, T H. Uh, struggles covering anyone during one on ones, but makes play after play during eleven on eleven. Today he stopped Trey Lance for a no gang on a run, uh, then stopped running back. Uh, Eli Mitchell for a two-yard loss. TH is a playmaker, especially when he lines up close to uh, close to the ball. Well, that's very good then, because I ain't heard of him for a long time. Um, number three, wide receiver, uh, Jalen Hunt. Uh, I caught his first pass of training camp, a 15-yarder while running a dig route against Ken Webster. The cornerback, uh, 49ers receivers, took turns uh, abusing him. More on Webster below. Okay. Number four, wide receiver Richie James Jr. Uh, beat Jason Burnt with a fade route up the left uh, sideline for a long catch during one on ones. Not easy to beat Jason for route. Uh, sorry, not easy to uh, beat him, Burnt. Uh, number five, free safety Jamie Ward uh, covered, uh, covered wide receivers during one on ones and shut down almost every one he faced. Uh, he broke up a pass intended for uh, Mohamed uh, Sanyu. Running a slant, then broke up a pass intended for Junior Hunt, running a dig route. Ward could play cornerback if the 49ers were necessary, and that's very good. Okay, then. Number six, running back, Trey Simon. Uh, sorry, Trey Simon. Uh, beat starting linebacker uh, Trey Greenlaw for a long catch during one on Number seven, cornerback, Emmanuel Mosley. Uh, Passed for the first time in camp after spending the first seven days on the COVID-19 list and broke up Jimmy G's first pile attempt of the team drills. Okay, that's very good. Number eight, cornerback, Demonior Leonor, uh, punched the ball out of Gemma Cole Husty's hands and the defence recovered. Right, number nine, defensive end, D Ford, uh, appeared in his eighth straight practice and beat uh, Mike McClinkley for, uh, for a sack. Beating McCritchley as like a breathing for a thought, uh, for D Ford. Good to see him recovering well from a back injury that cost him almost all of 2020. Number 10, defensive end, Nick Bosa. Well, this is a first. Returned to practice after his second day of stretch. Uh, also participated past rush moves on a side, side field while he strut around with his jersey all, uh, rolled up to show off his abs. Bosa has terrific caps. Unfortunately, the 49ers, uh, unfortunately for the 49ers, he still hasn't participated in any physical competition this offseason. But he looks great. Okay. 
Number 11, defensive tackle uh, Javon Kinlaw made it through an entire practice without getting injured or removing himself for an unknown reasons. Impressive. Okay, that's all good. Let's go to the not so good. Number one, cornerback uh, Ken Webster split time with Mosley at cornerback for the first time string defense and got beaten re uh, repeatedly by damn near every wide receiver on the roster. I'm confident the 49ers will play Webster with the uh, with the starters. Just so uh, uh, Jimmy G has someone to pick on. The 49ers need to demote Webster pronto. Thomas and Lenore better than him right now. Okay. Number two, offensive tackle Mike McKenzie gave up his daily sack to D4. Good to know how some things in life don't change. And looking good then. Number three, defensive end R. Oh, Emstead missed practice for a groin injury. Number four, defensive tackle, Zach Kerr, also missed, uh, also missed practice with a groin injury. Number five, the, uh, defensive tackle, Ken uh, uh, Kend Street, or K Street, uh, missed practice with an unknown injury, or maybe he simply had a maintenance day. Hard to know because maintenance is, is vogue. Uh, we'll see if he returns to practice Saturday. Well, it looks like Nick Bosa's have done a good thing. But I'm still sceptical about Nick Bosa. Okay, Mike McClinchy, everyone else, listen. According to Grant Cohen, you only see these guys for, what, 60 to 90 minutes and that's it. This is why I cannot wait for the off-season. I cannot wait for the off-season. Um, we'll find out what these guys can do, but Bosa... How can I put it? Before the injury, when we went to the final of the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, Bosa was in his prime full fucking stop. He was in his prime. Nothing happened. All right, he might add an odd injury or whatever. Miss a week or two. Nothing major. He was always there 98% of the time. And he did very well for the 49ers. Then last year, torn ACL. I think he's very nervous about that ACL. And I still think that to this day. Um, he ain't in, uh, top, um, anticipated a lot in the training camp. He hasn't been tested, um, oh, sorry, uh, vaccinated for COVID. He still, he still hasn't. He still hasn't. So God knows what this guy's going to do. And God knows what everyone else is going to do. Um, but we'll see what happens. As always. <coughs> Well, um, thank you very much for um, for watching this video. Um, leave a link down below. Tell me what you think. Um, subscribe um, if you're new. And thank you very much for 40 subscribers. Very fortunate, humble, appreciate that you guys subscribed. If you're new, subscribe. There's a lot more 49ers and NFL news and streams and God knows what else. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.